In this tutorial, you're gonna learn how to use the same same part of the compressor to make a ducking audio effect. The idea is pretty simple, we have two signals, the main one and the control one. The first step is apply the compressor to the main signal, that is to say the signal we want to lower when the other one appears. For this example I'm gonna use a low threshold with the release about 500 milliseconds and radio 3-1. After this, we may create an auxiliary send to the boost one in our control signal track Selecting the compressor, the same key input, and activate the sidechain. Let's hear how does it work. Si desea hablar con ventas mostrador, pulse 1. Con administración, pulse 2. Por favor. Espere hasta que le pongamos con su interlocutor. As you can see, the compression only adds when the control signal appears and the overall volume of the main signal decreases. This effect is also useful for dense music production. Now we're gonna use this kick as control signal. And the main signal is going to be this chart progression. The only thing that changes now is that we're gonna use the control signal track to trigger the compressor, and we don't wanna hear it. So we send it to the boost one, add the compressor to the main track signal, select boost one in the compressor, and activate the side chain. In this case, we're gonna use a threshold around 24 dBs and a release around 150 milliseconds. Let's hear the result. I hope it's been a useful video. Thanks for watching.